The Corsair Hydro X Series IQ Link XH405i RGB Custom Cooling Kit includes everything you need to build a stunning hardline loop using the IQ Link system for a simplified building experience. To get started with the kit, we'll first install the IQ Link XC7 RGB Elite CPU water block. Install the mounting bracket on the CPU block for your motherboard socket. Peel the adhesive covers on the backplate and install. Now install the CPU block. Make sure to tighten the screws evenly in a cross pattern. Install fittings to the CPU block inlet and outlet ports. And connect an IQ link cable and route it to the back of your system. We can now move on to the fan and radiator assembly. First, connect the fans together using the included bridge connectors. Place the fans onto the radiator and use the provided radiator screws to secure them in place as shown. Once secured, connect an IQ link cable to the fans. Then install fittings to the radiator inlet and outlet ports. Now install the fan and radiator assembly into the case using the provided case screws, and route the IQ link cable to the back of the system. Now it's time to install the IQ link XD5 RGB Elite Pump Res Combo. First, install the mounting bracket to the bottom of the XD5. Then, install either the 120mm or 140mm fan mounting adapter plate. Mount the pump res assembly to a radiator, fan, or directly to the case using the provided nuts and screws as needed. Next, install fittings to the outlet port and an available inlet port. Then plug the remaining ports. Now, connect an IQ link cable and route it to the back of your system. With the CPU block, fans, radiator, and pump res combo installed, we can install the IQ link system hub and four-way splitter to the back of the system. First, connect the system hub to power and internal USB. Then, use a bridge connector or IQ link cable to add the splitter to the hub. Now, connect the IQ link cables coming from the fans, CPU block, and XD5. If your system has additional IQ link devices, connect those cables as well. We can now work on bending and cutting the hardline tubing for the loop. First, put a wet silicone insert into a tube. Heat the tube using a heat gun. Once heated, insert the tube into the provided mandrel and slowly bend and hold the tube at the desired angle as it cools. Now, measure the desired length to cut. Place the sawing clamp on a stable surface. Then, place the tubing into the appropriate slot on the sawing clamp and secure it in place. Cut the tube using the provided handsaw. Once cut, ream the edges of the cut tube with the provided reamer. Then, rinse the tube out to flush any remaining debris. Repeat this process for each tubing run until you have enough tubing for a completed loop. With the hardline tubing bent and cut to size, we can now install our runs. Take the collar and o-ring from your fittings and install them on the ends of the tubing as shown. Insert each end of the tube into their respective fitting. Then, secure the tube into place by screwing the collar down onto the fitting. Now repeat this until all your tubing runs have been installed. With the tubing installed, we can now fill the loop. First, make sure that all fittings are secure. Then check that your system's power supply is off. Set the XT5 pump override to position 1, which will enable full speed on the pump. Next, connect the power jumper to the 24-pin motherboard power cable coming from your power supply. Prep a fill bottle using the included XL8 coolant. Open a fill port and fill the XT5 reservoir with coolant. Now, turn on the power supply and the pump will begin to run. Once the reservoir is nearly empty, turn off the power supply. Repeat the filling process until coolant completely fills the loop. Make sure to top off the reservoir to around 2 cm from the top and close the fill port. We recommend letting the pump run for 24 hours to remove trapped air and to make sure that there aren't any leaks. To wrap up the installation, make sure the power supply is off and remove the 24-pin jumper. Then, reconnect the 24-pin motherboard power cable to your motherboard. And switch the XD5 pump override to position 2. Start your system up normally and launch Corsair IQ, which will allow you to quickly set up the lighting, 
set your radiator fans to the Hydro-X series fan profile, and monitor temperatures of your components. And that's it. The Corsair Hydro-X series IQ-Link XH405i RGB custom cooling kit delivers the stunning looks that only hardline loops can achieve with simplified building thanks to IQ-Link components. Thanks for watching.